Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Here's a Scenario, a hypothetical-based podcast. I am one of your hosts, Michael Shane Cannon, with me as always. Brendan Sagalow, as well as... Mike Feeney. This is exciting, and we got a guest. We have a hilarious guest, an uh, unbelievable comedian, fantastic podcaster in his own right, Ron on Hirschberg. Good to yeah. be here. Good to be here. Now, I do want to, I don't mean to come at you immediately oh, shit. aggressively. <laughs> but I'm going to come at you also I've immediately I've only said the N word once. It, I can't. It might be it, the, I hope it's for the thing. same reason. It's probably going to be Let's say it on thing. three. One, two, three. You <laughs> headphones. took your headphones off. <laughs> oh, and, uh, why are the headphones off? <laughs> now, I don't know what your answer is going to be, but I know why I hate it. And it's because... It's Let's say it on three. One, <laughs> One two, two, three. three. Talking, talking over. over. Yeah, yeah talking so over we, 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 we both don't know how long of a <laughs> sentence we're going to say. <laughs> what if we say it, say it on three, and then we say a full <laughs> sentence? <laughs> so if a train leaves Mississippi at Wait, why time, is it a problem? I don't get because it. Because you won't hear us talking or saying low things, and then you'll talk over us. Is usually what happens. Well, fortunately, Maybe. I have ears okay. as a backup. Let's so see. I hear you talking. Let's, <laughs> let's see. But these well, are like mega ears. You also too. won't hear Nicole. I <laughs> This sensitivity, <laughs> uh, let's just lay it out there and create context. This sensitivity is birthed from past trauma. Okay. So we've had past guests who have claimed to have supersonic hearing. Uh -huh. And not, no one once has ever done it. Yeah, never. <laughs> never. I have a feeling you'll both get a lot of words in. It's already seemed yeah. like it's not a problem. It's seeming like it's <laughs> I, I'm fine with it you're working. Like, you are going to be interrupting mm -hmm. us all the time, and then you're talking over. <laughs> I, can I just say one thing? No, you're not going to be able to hear us. You're going to interrupt <laughs> us. We're not going to get a word in. I will say this. I am going to... If I do remember, which I'm sure I'll promptly forget, but if there, I'm going to have sort of a interrupter counter during the podcast, only from headphone related. Sounds incidents. like that's <laughs> going to distract you a little bit. It, Sorry, I was counting. It it's also, it's assuming, it's assuming that we, that's not what this podcast is. I think you've all done podcast. I did it. You know, ah, ah, but someone I, get the bell. I would have done that. I would have done that wearing headphones too. The headphones yeah, yeah. don't take yeah. away my narcissism. Listen, as, as, someone much, who, as much as this is a hypothetical based podcast, uh -huh. it's also an interruption based podcast. Yes. Yeah. That's what the show is. It is a it's a uh, would you rather's hypotheticals, what ifs. F Mary kills all those fun stuff submitted by you, the listeners. We give preferential treatment to our Patreon members, patreon.com slash scenario pod. They submit the questions. They build out the entire show. Plus we have a bonus episode that we do every single week, not in the same format of the show. It's a looser storytelling show, much akin to Irish goodbye, RIP. And uh, yeah, ton of stuff goes up there early. We have uh, over 200 of backlogged episodes. We'll get to the plugs later. Let's just start the show. That's right. Do you want me to put my headphones on? I can't. I don't want to fucking <laughs> no, like. I'm it's more. Apparently, it's you know not a safe space for you all anymore. It will, it, will kind of, it will kind of lead to a fun side game. It's like you just created a, a, a B plot. In this, in this well, episode. I, I just feel like you're all done podcast so long you forgot about like just regular ears and then we were like, how is Nicole going to let me know something? She could talk? No, you can't, no, no, you can't <laughs> you see her. her. She's behind a mountain of yeah. computers she and she talks it. She talks very quietly. She types it in and then it oh, says... Nicole, talk. Me, I bet I could hear it. It's pretty low. I can hear that. It's pretty low. <laughs> all right. She also said, Ronan's a Listen, stupid head, but, but you didn't hear that. Two, those two computers aren't like a soundproof fucking uh, uh, thing around. Then they're not, not working not properly. Not yeah. <laughs> when we get our own studio, she's going to have a silent dome in there. Yeah. Like, a, like a hamster wheel that she'll be able to I'm just sorry you on. force your producer. <laughs> I'm sorry you force your producer to whisper so you don't feel like there's any women in here so you can create a nice vibe. But like, <laughs> that's <laughs> what we're trying to cultivate. A masculine, not oppressed by women. <laughs> and now that you're proper Properly on edge. Uh, <laughs> let's start the show. All right. First question we got from Alex the Truck on the Patreon. What skill do you wish you had, but you know you will never have? Like Canon being able to thumb wrestle with both hands. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fun because Mike has a super have, deformed uh, thumb that two, everyone talks about. Whoa, yeah, freak. crazy, right? We, yeah, you this, should be doing better in comedy. I, I didn't know you were deformed. I, have a, I know. <laughs> I have a Megan Fox thumb. You could be doing NBC stand up for diversity. Yeah. <laughs> what if I? 
been doing. I, Mike really not leans I should go up there look, look, I'm finger retarded. <laughs> Mike, Mike really leans into it and releases a special called Under My Thumb. Or I did, under, uh, barely under my thumb. I did stand up for diversity. I'm pretty sure they thought my, it was only because they thought my first name was Muslim. Uh, they were like, well, Ron, you'll go up there and talk about Palestine. I'm like, I don't know if you want to hear my views on that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Very anti Israel. But, uh, or not, you know, whatever, nuance. But uh, I don't whatever, bring whatever you so are, quickly. the listener. Who, yeah, yeah, whatever you are, whatever you think. Whatever stops the violence. <laughs> but uh, hey, the weird tooth. So wait, let me see yeah. it again. This is, uh, first of all, Alex, eat the shit ring out of my asshole because I am an undefeated thumb wrestler with this thumb. It has an incredible course, low her. center of gravity. Yeah, it's like Rey Mysterio. It, dude, the, the amount of torque that I have with this thing, it could snap your fucking But isn't it like not fair? Ahead. It's like a transgender person playing. It has, it has all the, exactly it has it the strength this of one This one participated thumb. in pen swimming. <laughs> yeah, it has, it has the strength of a full thumb. Yeah, has, now let me ask you It's this. like an ant. Is it a deformity yeah. or is it different? Like if you, if both your thumbs look like that, that? Would it look normal, or is it no? In I know comparison? people. So a lot of people have the Good double question. the double toe. Uh -huh. that, that's kind of regular. This one is called a million dollar thumb, or something, or a murderer's thumb. Depends Ooh. which side of the fence you fall. Million Looks like I'm going to be guilty of killing somebody <laughs> yeah. someday. But I, uh, I this, say murderers. Millionaires are murderers. Yeah. Hot they, take. They murder our checking accounts. Take, everybody. <laughs> nice, dude. That was awesome. Yeah. You really did learn a lot of Rage Against yeah. the Machine. <laughs> rage <laughs> Against the Machine dude. where he's sitting down while yelling because he pulled his fucking... <laughs> that is, by the way, hilarious. Ow. Oh, yeah. He still like, has to sit down the whole time. It's just like you, you can't really rage while yeah. sitting. You know what I mean? You gotta he did be I disagree. He did his I darnest. disagree, yeah. yeah. I think you, he, you did not see this I video. Whenever I tell this to fans, they get so upset. They're like, oh, he fucking raged. <laughs> Rage. Rage. Uh, yeah. And you know what? Yeah. You rage. rage more when you're sitting down because the rage is compressed. <laughs> it's not silly at all. He and raged man so hard. Who's 60 that... years old is still raging against the machine. There is no irony <laughs> happening by the fact that he pulled his hamstring or whatever. Broke his ankle. ankle. He broke his ankle raging the first show. <laughs> yeah. Raging I mean, against the machine. Is hilarious. The machine won. Like yeah, he yeah. fucking broke. But he's still well, there. As someone who was legitimately scared when they first came out, yeah, uh, of that energy, he fucking raged. And he, he also, raged. he also, they, they had to cancel the rest of the tour. A little bit. No. Square Garden. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on. What do you mean? I was a little scared. Yeah, there was a, there was a palpable tension in the I mean, air. To be fair, he got scared when I took my headphones off. So, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I get scared very <laughs> easily. <laughs> but we were like right fucking there, dude. I had just watched the Woodstock '99 documentary. And oh, like, okay. Scared oh, of that? Fuck, I didn't dude. know what you meant. I thought you scared were scared of how brilliant. His music. performance he was. <laughs> yeah. You're like, it was a spooky vibe. In I there. was like, who is that man? Is he a murderer? Why is he so angry? <laughs> yeah. People do it is funny. People like the fan. I mean, I guess I'm not like I, I don't know. I'm sure they're great. Um they're yeah, they're excellent. but like people do get like I someone last night, who was it? So what kind of music? Oh, it was Josh Adam Myers. I regret, well, Josh Adam Myers I regret went, bringing it up. Josh I was, Adam Myers went to all five yeah. shows. <laughs> yeah. and I was his personal friends with Tom Morello. Yeah, I was like, is it a funny? Too. I did radio with him. I was like, is it funny that he hurt his leg and he's sitting down? He's like, I don't get I don't see the irony at all if anything it made him stronger it's just like <laughs> <laughs> people don't like to fucking uh they do not like if to laugh. anything it made him stronger people so hold funny. their things very tight to them because uh somebody's here to kick us out but yeah. uh no, because you know this is all know. we have yeah what was the question oh i invited esty up i hope you guys <laughs> yeah. okay so um, i don't know i just saw red after you said i couldn't <laughs> thumb wrestle with one hand i'm livid uh what skill do you wish you had what but you know you will never have so i already the know the thumb one part was not even a little bit part of it it was just no. a, it was just a, a side burn. slam it was a rage you're engine. like what yeah. skill would you have like mike being a retard <laughs> <laughs> like might be a stretch but all right <laughs> any sort of skill or just like a tangible any, any skill nah, i got stop saying the word i was anyway. thinking this <laughs> i said it too. you know what's funny too someone in uh was i was uh twitch streaming last night with tim butterly and he was saying and someone in, the, in the, my twitch stream was like just tell him to stop saying that word and he's like <laughs> and he's like i'm saying it in like a different way than i think everyone understands the context like he yeah. likes it <laughs> He's like, this is such a fun. Um, yeah. But I look. People are coming after comedy right now. It's yeah. scary. It's we a didn't... scary time to be a comedian. <laughs> We're constantly under fire for the things we say. But I <laughs> so scary. I do find that. Uh, I, like think it's on Tim specifically though. He's now like training kids in his uh what does he do jujitsu or muay thai yeah, yeah. or which one is it yeah jujitsu yeah. and he's i think a purple belt or something crazy at this point and i was thinking about yesterday how many i mean hundreds and hundreds of hours he's dedicated to that craft if that's something i could like wake up and just have it's it. because i think it's also yeah. i i don't want to i don't i didn't know tim before he did jujitsu obviously but i do think 
that that is a big part of why his personality is so awesome because he walks around with the, I'll destroy, I could physically, like yeah. he could, he could kill Luis Gomez in under 30 seconds without any hesitation, without any struggle. Tim is like, Tim is like, this is called the bird cage. It could kill you in one <laughs> second. <laughs> um, why so you knew, oh, why did I? No, not you like knew it? from the start. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that you moment. knew from the start. I turned him like this is called the bird, and you, you just. Knew it. I didn't uh, like he the, doesn't have it. I didn't like the angle. He doesn't have it. Anything you took, I saw your your like coil to Lincoln. Oh, it it was, I think you caught yourself repeating my sentence and added act outs to yeah, make it and dis a cage. <laughs> discover it. Couldn't we all kill Lewis and just give, make him have a therapy session and just yeah. bring up his demons and yeah. just kill himself. Talk about your past and actually don't try to run for a minute. <laughs> but, but some like multiple mid from Sons of the Lambs in like 12 seconds. <laughs> I'm going to pick that. I'm going to pick like having like a, a yeah. black, just a black belt yeah. and some like very hand to hand. Uh, I can, Damn, that because is it, it really relaxes. It would also would relieve a lot of tension of me walking around this now. Uh, I mean, violent hellscape we call the village, but that mm. is that is so that's yeah. a great point where you just brought up and it's the reason why I'm going to get my son into jujitsu when he's like five, six, whatever Yeah, is because of the anxiety that it releases in your life. Yes. Because I'm, I'm mostly angry because of how terrified I am yeah. at all times. So my anger and my fucking lash out bullshit stems from basically an insecurity. So if you could give the, like peace of mind to you can walk you really time. spoke for like every Trump supporter that's like what's going on behind. you like articulated I like the behind every Trump supporter <laughs> I am so angry because deep down I'm terrified <laughs> but I mean I am who I am you, you really know what did I mean? articulate that is, <laughs> perfectly that is the how slogan of the Trump <laughs> what is really funny if they had like self-aware slogans <laughs> Trump I'm only we're, angry because deep down I'm a scared child <laughs> Are you and not I a don't child? know how to protect my family yeah. <laughs> in this scary world yeah i feel like i feel like that is without, true for everyone, yeah. yeah i feel like that's that's true, true for, for a yeah. broader swath of people Well, if you're angry that's true yeah yeah so I I think, i'm not an angry people, guy so i'm just scared i'm openly scared yeah i'm like yeah. <laughs> it hasn't developed into <laughs> anger if you don't have anger just you're fear. just like Meh. yeah <laughs> yeah you're either pussy or you hide into anger yeah. and then you're the guy scaring the pussies yeah but we're both scared but you're all pussies yeah. we're all pussies we're all pussies it, we're all pussies. it would yeah be nice to walk around with some inner peace you know, right. Just knowing that you can take somebody down and I've like, been on and the being hunt like, for that for my I, life. And not only that, being like, I'm in control of this power that I have. And it's that's bringing me a lot of pain. every single like black belt that I've ever met in my life has been the least aggressive people that yes. I've met. You would think that's like, oh, they're just going to walk around picking fight. And they're like, no. Yeah. But and the people that lie about having a black belt always. are the most aggressive. Yeah, they always do. But it is <laughs> funny because you can just it's fun going into every conversation knowing like. You're not a physical threat, which I think goes back to like an animalistic instinct of fear of being like, this is someone could, so this stranger could try to kill me at some point. And then knowing like, that's not a problem for me. And then you could just have a regular conversation. It is great. It's a very tough group for people who've literally gone through getting different colored belts, which doesn't seem that <laughs> tough. <laughs> yeah. To have different colored yeah. Yeah, belts you tie around. Hilarious <laughs> to be afraid I, of someone who says, I have a yellow belt. <laughs> and you're like, I, oh, shit. I do think it's pretty progressive to have purple rank so high. Yeah, the only no, thing, the only thing above cool. it is brown and black. There so we, there you go. <laughs> wow. Very. And what's the worst? White. It's very tough. Always been at the bottom. Sean I White agree. came up with the belt system. <laughs> <laughs> it's very tough. Like it's a very tough thing to have Jew in the uh, in the neck. King. Sean. Uh oh. I was like uh, snowboarding. Yeah. Sean White. Yeah. Right, right, well, I was like the redhead guy. <laughs> um, yeah. Is Jew Gypsy different Mountain than Dew, karate? Baby? Probably. Yeah. It is. Do they it have belts? Is. They all have belt systems. Yeah. And then you not only not only you don't just go from white to blue you don't just go from belt to belt then you got to get the little stripes the little stripes on each belt you need like four or five of those so the toughest black belt at one point got a orange belt and was really happy with three stripes yeah 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 yeah, 100 he was like honey i got the orange belt today babe all i had to do was 
<laughs> Dude, there are they people gave me the orange dumb bell. chucking their fucking laptop screen right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Be yeah. like, wait for like, I'm like, yeah. 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 Your, your, whole, your whole base is just rage against the machine, jujitsu fans. Trump supporters. Who love yeah, yeah. Yeah. Supporters. yeah, you're really. Who yeah. love wearing headphones. And I'm just like, this, I'm just annoyed everyone. I'm sorry. No, it's, it's just interesting. Like, <laughs> next thing he's going to be like, you know what really sucked? Goodfellas. It was a terrible movie. Everyone I, hated it. I find that. Shot. I, don't even take. I really uh, hate Irish people. Do you find oh that? My <laughs> yeah. um, you're lucky for us. We agree with you on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Most of our family is Irish. Yeah. You're like, we're racist, but we used to be slaves in this one picture. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have a loophole. We have yeah. a forever loophole. Um, but it is, well, the, the yellow belt, it's kind of like machismo in general. Whenever there's like a really tough guy, you're like, but you, machismo is not, at one point you were baby crying and you yeah. were sucking on a, a, a mother's breast and crying for it. It's like, Some machismo people is not that impressive. Breast. You know, that's how I've kind of been going through life and I'm so interested to see if you do the same once you have your kid, is that Looking at my son, I now look at people and picture their yes. baby face. And then you're I like, I do yeah. it all the time, and it disarms them immediately. Right. Because you're like, this was a fucking shit in my pants child at some yeah. point. And now you're like, I'm so tough and independent. It's, it's so yeah. funny. You man. shat in your pants, yeah. and you didn't know it, and you cried like a bitch oh, for, like, <laughs> for, for like eight years. You cried like a bitch like, a baby like 12 bitch. times a day. That's right. Does anybody ever go, what are you thinking about? Just you as a baby. <laughs> 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 How I just now I will. <laughs> I'll just slightly cover your mouth. How I'm not afraid of you because you're a baby. Yeah, you used to be a baby. I do right? think like it does make machismo seem like such an act when you think about it. Like yeah. you can't pass that off, you know? Well, yeah. there's, well I have a lot of that. But there's yeah. also like experiences people have after their babies that do make you afraid of them? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not, if like a hitman, like, like this guy was just a baby. If I'm getting robbed, I'm not like, oh, well, you were a baby, so it's fine, you little baby with a gun. <laughs> oh, you're just a baby with a gun. <laughs> um, but, you know, yeah, it just, uh, well, that's, I, I think like for, uh, this might, for guns, I do think for a lot of guys who like love guns, mm. not everyone, but for a lot of them, it is. Basically, a male version of a blankie. It's something to help me get to sleep at night. I feel I have my little gun, and it helps me yeah. feel like I'm protector. Yeah, but it's like a no blankie that yeah. you can wrap around yeah. someone's neck and. But it, yeah, it's the male. It's a lead blanket. But <laughs> when people are like, "Oh my god," I'm like, "You're just like a male blankie. You just need your little blanket you at night think, to help you dude, go to sleep." You don't walk the around New York right now. Killed after this episode <laughs> comes out. Dude. You don't walk yeah. around New York That's, right now, being like, "I want to get a gun." What's your fan base? Is it fucking? Uh, no, idea. no, I have no idea. I will say this: no, I, we, don't, we don't even. I, I get don't, into it. I don't. I don't. <laughs> no, but we do talk yeah, about yeah, killing we people. We purposely a lot. avoid all of these. Oh, topics. Right. Um, <laughs> oh, that's that's correct. It's a large swath of our fan, and that's the second swath of the night. Is uh, <laughs> a, a large, a large par uh, portion of our fan base definitely has murder fantasies oh, okay. at all well, times. I, so, I yeah. also, I, don't, I have those. I don't, uh, I don't have a gun. <laughs> I, I also would love to own a gun. It's just yeah. is a matter yeah. of, and, but it also because of just shooting. And I did a bit about this on the on Rage Against the Routine, but just like how much fun it is firing a gun was, it's crazy. Oh, it's no, I even. have an Uzi in my room. I go, I'm yeah. just saying, I'm just like, you know, I'm like, I sleep with it, but I'm just saying, but I'm I, aware. I always think about where I'd put a gun. <laughs> I always oh, think no, about I have that. a Tommy gun right under my bed. If always. I, if I got a gun where I would put it, cause conventional wisdom would tell you like, fucking head. some kind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that it's worked. like a doctor's I know stethoscope. I know it's cool that. the first time it touches I your temple. <laughs> <laughs> you ever you ever seen the movie where like so like I think they do the Sopranos where someone's like afraid like someone's like on the run and they're afraid someone's gonna come and get them so they go to sleep holding a gun yeah, yeah. but I'm like. If you were like the other person in bed, you would never wake that person up. Like they're just no. asleep yeah. holding a gun. You're like, uh, oh. <laughs> Sucking it. uh. well, and the time that that scene resolves itself, every every end to that scene should be like, <laughs> yeah, I know, they're just like, shooting, yeah. it, it, oh, or just rolling over, yeah. or rolling over and shooting. Yeah, it off. right. Well, that's the whole point of that having a gun. Kill it. Yeah. while you sleep is to be able to shoot at the moment your eyes wake up. But that, so yeah. why would you not do that then if right. you were woken up? You would just yeah how would you yeah. know yeah. it's like that's the whole point how would you know it's a killer or not a killer in that yeah. one second otherwise yeah. give yourself the second to roll over pick it up and do it if you want any type yeah. of process in reality if someone fell asleep with a gun like and there was another person in the room that like, we have to get the fuck out of here like that's like the most dangerous thing oh yeah, yeah. You're going, 
and just have your hand on I mean, trigger. that's the best if yeah. you're just pointing <laughs> it at the point person. Pointing it at the person. Uh, uh, just a bird snoring. fucking chirps in the morning and you just kill the, the fucking person in the other apartment building. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought of the yeah. killer. So what did we all decide for question number one? Um, the, well, that was the skill? skill. So I don't... So I talked about this before on the show... And I'm I'm now waffling between two things because these are my two huge like outside of comedy interests right now is one guitar. I would love to be absolutely uploaded with the ability to play Unreal John Mayer esque or Clapton esque guitar. That would be awesome. But the now the new emerging talent that I wish I had is full blown survival mode in the wilderness of Alaska. Totally. If I could get dropped into Alaska with a little bit of a saw and a tarp and like a dick pill, I would, and I could set up a city What's for a myself. Dick pill? Feel like rape a grizzly bear to, <laughs> yeah, your yeah. Man? to repopulate the island with your own. You fucked the first grizzly bear? Man to show you mean business. <laughs> yeah. you, would like rather, prison. you would definitely rather get lost in like the woods and wilderness of like mountain cold than in the desert, right? Oh yeah, of course course yeah. i mean the desert at, at least just... in the woods you have like a chance of or like mountain cold you have like a chance right have you all been to alaska i have yeah yeah my sister nicole lives. has my sister lives there what, oh, what was that uh, what nicole? city oh that's uh, a good insight for, yeah. oh yeah <laughs> For a second, I thought she was going to talk. Who up close? <laughs> she did. She was trying she to. She didn't have she was actually back. making a lot of really good points. Yeah, lock right her now. out. Have the computer. I don't want to feel like a woman's in here. Lock <laughs> it out completely. <laughs> no to guns and no to women. That's why we make her wear dunks. <laughs> uh, she lives in a uh, Fairbanks. So. Oh, cool. That's yeah. not where I went. That's where you could see like beautiful northern lights, right? Everything. Yeah. Is, is super. It, what else happened in Fairbanks? Well, Fairbanks is near. I mean, I guess it's, not, it's a couple hours from Denali. Mm -hmm. uh, it, very funny. Um, and not funny. I mean, it's sad, but also hilarious, but sad. But uh, so, you know, into the wild. Yes. Yeah. So the guy, you know, he died. What? Uh, yeah, he died very close to Emil Hirsch. Yeah, Emil Hirsch. Uh, very close. <laughs> His to, career died. Like, <laughs> very close to civilization, like embarrassingly close, but like like a mile. He's away. like he's but, got one <laughs> hand on a highway. Yeah. Like he was in someone's backyard. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but so he died, and the bus was still there, right? Yeah. But they had to remove the bus because people paying homage to him were drowning on their way swimming across the river to get to the bus, oh, whoa, which is God. stupidly drowning is the truest homage to him yeah. <laughs> dying stupidly dying yeah. stupidly yeah. without just because you didn't have enough uh, information so they, <laughs> they moved up they've moved i believe they, they've moved it to uh, fairbanks well i never even <laughs> saw that movie so he swam like it was the beach and to a different at island. one point he did yeah Whoa. to get to it i don't think That's i mean nuts. at one point he swam to it but how did he get the bus there no, the bus, the bus was, was already right there. there. How did uh, the bus get there? He swam and then he brought. This is like an episode of Law. <laughs> Miss, Miss Frizzle. Part well, well, I don't think it was the like, others. What the fuck? I don't think it was like an island. It wasn't an island. There was just like a river you had to get across oh. at some point. So I don't know. So he could have just walked. Yeah, I think so. I mean, he like. I don't know. I hear the book's great. I saw the movie. Stories falling apart. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the, the did, did Emil Hirsch ever really exist? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think like I. I really think uh, <laughs> he didn't really. Like, I think he, he wanted to be a survivalist, but he didn't really research enough. Yeah. And so he didn't, like, he just, he was kind of very rash. Like, yeah. look, I'll yeah. find cheese, yeah. cheeseness out there. Like, but I know, like, what's his name? Uh, who is it? Uh, who does the score? Uh, Eddie uh, Vedder. It's all like, yeah. America, we'd be free, but it should be like, this guy's a moron. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like survivalist by YouTube education. Yeah, he didn't yeah. put any real effort into it, mm. but I'm talking about like, so I watch Alone. I've talked about it constantly yeah, uh -huh. recently. And there's one guy in season seven that created this crazy rock like uh, house for himself and the shit that he knows and they pop up like the pop-up video facts alongside of what he's yeah. saying and he's 100 percent dead on with everything if i could somehow just know all that and be yeah. able to just live off the land as if i was like a native that would be fucking is it crazy Wouldn't you get say, lonely though yeah sure but isn't it crazy I, I, is this crazy to say that i believe that you could learn like so you could learn the all of that stuff that he has probably 
in like one fifteenth the time versus being as good of a guitarist as Eric Clapton or John Mayer. Sure. I think like I think that that's like a weekend of research. He's saying you're he's like, saying what you said is dumb. It's a stupid <laughs> <laughs> Well the research one of those things so, are dumb. The, the research that's not really new on the You could have asked for a lot more, you fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah you wasted a, a monkey paw with All right. <laughs> What do you what, I'm not if you get a research. genie, are you like, I wish I could have someone do my taxes for free? <laughs> You're fucking short term. That's actually going to be my moron. answer. <laughs> Not only the research, but the experience as well. So I wish I had his like not scared by a bear type of confidence mm-hmm. as well as like all the you know you like fly the cow- right yeah. <laughs> you're like the cowardly lion you're like so I'm, I'm, I'm a heart is what I'm asking for courage, right. courage and a heart <laughs> for the if man. I only had a brain <laughs> that was literally question one <laughs> I, I wish I didn't like get an answer <laughs> thanks for watching everybody I appreciate yeah, that, oh, that's uh, awesome. my answer we don't even have to talk about it but drums I think I think being very good at drums would get a lot of like anger out and oh, also so just fun. fucking be be really yeah. fun and cool. You'd probably get into shape. There's yeah. very few fat drummers. There are a lot. There are fat drummers. <laughs> are there? Yeah. It's just a, it is shocking when you see it, but all you need is just money calves. Like, they look like, like uh, uh, did you take that hard? <laughs> no. Oh, no. You, you like, like shook but, while you sipped and but you Travis, uh, looked off and like, you probably, you probably lose weight. He's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Tra- Travis not the way he eats. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen his no, commitment like to his <laughs> body and it is, there is none. Um, <laughs> you but, shot down a hypothetical way. Travis Barker, like you know, he he runs. It's not even a world where anything could happen. <laughs> Will he lose weight? No, he refuses. <laughs> In a world of That's imagination, one, yeah. it That's could not be conceived. Hyper- Brendan's the only one that would wish for that, know how to play drums, and be fine with the knowledge that yeah, he could. I, I just haven't bought a drum set yet. They're like, well, he's you, like, I'm getting to it. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't play. Didn't you say last week you were gonna get a drum set? Now that a magical genie made you play the <laughs> drums? He, oh yeah, I haven't really done that. He yet. bought. <laughs> <laughs> he bought like Drum Hero on Oculus, yeah, and he's yeah. just doing that. And he's and like, he's not good at that. No. Yeah, not real he's like, drum. it's actually, I'm dizzy. good at real drums though. Uh, I should have made my skill good at being able I to wear like this all, for an hour. <laughs> these are all pretty attainable. You, yeah. Drums. I mean, not losing weight, but drum. <laughs> 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 and now we're really getting into fucking crazy wishes. But, uh, world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But drum. <laughs> what you just just go to Alaska for a couple of weeks just or whatever learning. you said. Yeah, if I could learn, <laughs> that would be great. What was yours? <laughs> to be like a. a black belt like jujitsu 25 years of experience in oh, okay i guess that's a pretty big one i mean i'm what's, 25 what was years yours years what's yours i'm not kidding because i'm like i'm thinking about it like you all have a fun ones i'm like I, i'd like to hey. like not run away from someone who loves me <laughs> 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 the skill of love my friend yeah, love. The skill of love. <laughs> uh, uh, the skill of love. it I'm is the, a fine <laughs> elusive art uh, not good at, uh, i don't know i have a superpower um, <laughs> too many. Too I'd many. love to be skinny, just a skinny person. Yeah, I'll yeah. Never be. Have you Again, ever, the skill of have you ever been dieting and nutrition? I think I'm just like inherently. <laughs> I mean, I've, I mean, I was skinny until I was eight. Mm. Which oh, is sad. The good I was, years. I was the most fuckable <laughs> at eight years old. Yeah. Sad to like run. be aware of that knowledge. That <laughs> if you wanted to see me at my hottest and mm-hmm. sexiest, yeah. I was eight years old. And at that time, you were skinny. dating your uncle. So. I know, right? <laughs> but uh, missed opportunities. But uh, <laughs> that bad. That was one. <laughs> Don't hold and confer. With him. <laughs> I need to. He felt I'm, it. I need he to didn't, hold he on. He wouldn't look at me while he said it. Well, I like knew. I like the idea that he wasn't molesting me, but that it was official. Yeah. You guys are committed. Yeah, they put it on Facebook and by that uncle time. was like, we should probably let everyone know about this. <laughs> your parents signed off. Yeah. But we should probably tell your parents now. He's just like all on board. <laughs> we can't hide this. It's real. It's like HR. You got to disclose yeah. it to everyone else. It's like that, that yeah. teacher coming my, out of prison and still marrying that My Spanish uncle's kid. just like fucking me. My <laughs> uncle's fucking me going, when are, you, when are we going to be able to tell people? <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, I don't you said you were leaving your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> good restraint on the table. Yeah. Man. I know, and I almost I, fell. God, like I this. have to pee. I wish you, you the toilet. You fucking smell. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right, Nicole? What is, all right, so what is the, what would you have, so that's, so you're going to do that. All right, so that's question one. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you would love right. to love. Let's get to question two. Uh, uh, yeah, and um, yeah, skinny. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's it. Okay. You have to get in some sort of. I found people lose or gain weight, respectively, if they're in some sort of 
podcastian uh, bet war that's happening. Like when, Lewis, like when Lewis gets into his Ellis, you know, ripped Ellis mania, Lewis, I'm going to get in shape. Watch yes. me do this kind of, and then you also make content out of it. The entire training time. <laughs> yeah. And then he'll balloon. That's a new society. How to lose weight. <laughs> Through Start a podcast. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're going to want the zoom. Um, <laughs> you're going to want to be publicly shamed. Well, I just wish I had like, even if I was like, Bert Kreischer, I just have a big I'm fucking sure. head and like, even if I was lost weight, I'd still have a big fucking You'd have a lot. Yeah. You'd be like a lollipop head. What are those? Yeah, what are those so, cowboy lollipops? It's like bacon I'm like wrapped a, yeah. over whatever. That would be what. <laughs> yeah, that's who I am. Yeah. <laughs> that's who I am. I'm like Minus <laughs> bacon. That's my spirit animal. My, <laughs> I, uh, I think it's bacon <laughs> wrapped over a date. Yeah. That's, oh, that's devil's it. on horseback. Yeah. Those are the I said cowboy lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I didn't acknowledge Did what you, you mean said a horn dog. But uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I feel like no matter what, I'd like uh, it's like it's like Danny DeVito. I'm not as bad as that, but like he can no. never be skinny. Right, like Danny DeVito will always look like Danny. Pull up a DeVito. picture of Danny DeVito in Taxi. He had a good, he had a good figure. He's just for a little short. He but he's, st- he's still a troll. He like, still looks like he's a just rhombus. like a troll. Who, yeah, he's just a troll. But now he's yeah. like a he's like a squ- he looks like someone jumped on his head and married. He's a, he's yeah, a yeah, he looks like a goomba. See, look at that second picture. He looks yeah. great. Well, no, look him up in. Um, but he's still a big head. It's he's got a huge over head. the cuckoo's nest. Yeah, he's got cuckoo's he's really skinny, skinny in cuckoo's yeah. nest. But he's still like, oh, cool. like I feel like no matter what, even if I was in Auschwitz, I'd still look stocky. <laughs> <laughs> this one is not being punished enough. <laughs> I'd be the one guy in Auschwitz. Everyone would be yeah, like, Yeah, that's skinny. That is skinny. Well, that's not skinny. That's skinny for Danny DeVito. That's what I'm yeah. saying. I can only be skinny for me. Still got yeah. a noggin, though. He still got a yeah, noggin. You're right. I still got a noggin. In Auschwitz, at the end, they'd be like, he was clearly a guard. He's hiding. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think has a and big... And I'd be like, Where are you no, getting food? no, I yeah. just can't yeah. lose weight. And they'd be like, all right, he's definitely Jewish. What, <laughs> do, you, what do you think has a, a heavier head by weight and volume, Ronan or Brendan? I think it might be because Brendan's head goes deep. Oh no, yours is more wide. His goes deep. I think about this a lot. I think about if someone beheaded me and they were like carrying my head. It'd be, be like, so heavy. heavy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. By the yeah. hair, they're just how like, low ah. my self esteem is. Yeah. I'm worried for the guy hypothetically <laughs> holding my. Yeah. He, he better have head. a nice enough <laughs> duffel bag. <there>. Yeah. <laughs> well, can't you hear it for like the first five seconds when he's like? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no. Yeah, that's the last thing that, you hear. Right? This is very heavy. I wonder what that feels feel, like. Getting your head cut off. Yeah. Probably terrible. You can feel it. Probably terrible for an idiot. Like, are you? Are you aware of something slicing through your neck at a slow enough pace? Like, are this, you reacting? This is how I think it is. This is how I think it is. If it's the guillotine like that, yeah, I think nothing. you are so overstimulated with adrenaline and fear that when it happens and all of a sudden you f- see your eyes are tumbling towards a basket, you don't even understand. You can't grasp what's happening because yeah. it's already over. And then you go out. No, I don't, I don't even think faint, you get, dude. I don't think you get, <laughs> I don't think you get extra time. For, like, I think I think the nerves are cut in the neck. Your brain is, but I think done. you get like, uh, look no, that up. the blood flow is conti- yeah. Sorry, Brendan. Oh, there's a bit of a delay. Yeah. Radio. There's like a couple set. Like it's probably like three to five yeah. seconds. I think it's like, not like a chicken. I think the chicken's got two minutes. But I don't think the chicken's conscious. I think that's instinct. No, that's different. Yeah, yeah. the chicken thing is totally different. Dead. I'm talking about human beheading and brain yeah, functionality. Is that is there's there, still there? a flow of blood going around it's your like, brain, but it it's like a mill, uh, half a second. This is the or perfect whatever. example. It's like when you unplug. Nicole, can you look this up? She is. We are lying. What, when you. It's like when you unplug your iPhone charger from the wall, but it's still charging your iPhone yeah. for like two oh. seconds. That's it. That's exactly it. Whoa. Good for you. You know, it's kind of. I feel like guillotine, out of all the ways you kill people, is probably the most humane. It's the quickest, right? I kind of agree. Right. But you still have to the, put their the head build up over, yeah, in front of everybody. Like it's in you're, public. You're, you're shitting your pants. Well, I, if, I mean, if the, you could somehow do it in like a sensory deprivation tent, yeah, right, where you are just mm. there's nothing from nothing. You are at peace, whatever, and out of nowhere, it's just it's visually upsetting. But it's hanging is much worse. Hanging way, is worse way, like, way, 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 way worse. Gag chamber, the, the silent gagging. Gag yeah. chamber is like the worst. Yeah, which everyone yeah. just watches. Oh, uh, every yeah. Yeah. with yeah. their. They used to bring their kids to public executions. It's right. like they bring their children Make there. Sure they know. Me, there was no TV though. I mean, you get it. It's yeah. entertainment. You, you, you got to get your kids. It would show us. That was their old. call of duty. Well, it's yeah. like yeah. it's like now <laughs> when your kids are wild, you're like, oh, thank God we could just put them in front of the TV. Back there, you're like, yeah, I don't want them to watch a guillotine, but I just can't. I need the time. Yeah. I don't Wait have an that. iPad yet. Nicole, I mean, really, do you what's have, the difference? Do you have anything on that, what we said? 
I am researching it. There's a lot of stuff that sounds like bullshit, but it is possible to survive briefly. I like how she's like, you have two seconds to research the mysteries of human consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> now, you now, two, now. Can you please tell us something that literally no one well, has We're about able to move on, and by the time you finish your research, we will no longer care. <laughs> That's right. Nicole, so guys, what fact, do you know about early 1600s <laughs> French? <laughs> Nicole, is there an afterlife? Come on. What does Wikipedia say? <laughs> Mike, Dude, what does iTunes say? A bunch of reviews, that's what it is. Five star <laughs> reviews. No one can come back from that. You don't really know. <laughs> yeah. There's no answer. <laughs> you maybe you could sew your neck together. No one's like, oh yeah, I was I was I felt the bundle in the thing, you know? Before yeah. we get to the plugs or reviews, just while we're on the guillotine, sure. when I was nine years old, my family took me to uh France and we went to uh Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. And in the basement, the last thing you see is uh like they're they're paying homage to like old torture and dungeons and stuff like mm. that and it, it something to be celebrated me. yeah it, it affected me and they were showing like <laughs> fake videos of people they had like guillotines there and stuff i had to uh i like had to it affected my sleep so bad i had to like m like draw like make friends with a, a cartoon guillotine in my head mm. so like oh, before i, I went to sleep i'd be like no we're cool and he's like hi Brendan is like his mouth is the uh You're like talk less thing. please because it's just showing the motion over and over again. You're so funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's like, I can never see this horrible thing again. Thank God it's not in New York. <laughs> <laughs> that's like black noir in the boys. Yeah. Like just that's hallucinating. Exactly the what it is. Yeah. That's fucking nuts. Uh, real uh, real uh, go to Applebee's and Times Square move. Let's go to France and go to Manu to yeah. Oh, I know. Is, yeah, I'm a brutal <laughs> trash family. Yeah, I I mean, we we are go to they and absolutely go to McDonald's. Ate McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, he actually never went to Paris. Had. He just was at Epcot. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll take the S car, the Big Mac, <laughs> <laughs> the Mick Croissant. Yeah. Speaking of croissants, five star reviews. You share them. You write them. It helps boost the uh, visibility of the show. Everything you find on the show is at here's the scenario .com, Social media, all that shit. Follow us on Instagram. Write the reviews. Tell a friend. That's the best way to spread the word about the show. Word of mouth. People take recommendations directly from your face with a lot more pressure. So do that. We also have the Patreon. Patreon.com slash scenario pod. One bonus episode per week. We do it on video, audio. We, uh, we, it is not of the structure of this show. Like we said, it's a storytelling loose show where we uh, smoke quite a bit of weed and then just, you know, I mean, that's also what this show is. But uh, over 200 episodes on the Patreon. Tons of bonus footage vlogs you name it all up there so do that and uh run on what do you have to plug buddy oh is this, it? this is over? the this is the no no oh we do plugs in the middle oh and then, i like that yeah and then we, we people uh, stop listening way before the episode ends so <laughs> yeah, yeah that's plugs. great that's great well i got i got a special yeah, yeah. i would take it at the comedy cellar i was um, there also so can i give a first person recommendation sure, it was fucking Skip fantastic <laughs> no, no, yeah, imagine i unreal Joke after fucking oh, joke, fuck just absolutely relentless. That's that's the perfect way to describe Ronan's comedy is absolutely relentless. Oh, He's hilarious, you. and uh, I couldn't recommend this uh, this hour of comedy more. Wait, you no, know, and I opened up Instagram. Ronan's the top of the oh, feed. Yeah. Well, thank you. Go uh, well, thank you. That means a, a lot of big fans. So I appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's uh, called Jokes from the Underground, and it's uh, it's uh, we chopped it around, and uh, happy to say, got picked up on my YouTube channel. And <laughs> nice, uh, dude, I've heard yeah. great things about. Them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're everywhere. They're very. They're more selective than people. Think. They pay fractions of pennies <laughs> per view. Yeah. No, but they're like they're more selective. Like you, if you like try to upload a snuff porn, they won't. They won't. They won't. Yeah. They won't so, let it happen. It's not Netflix selective. And I will but... never go there. <laughs> um, but uh, so it's on YouTube, and you can go to jokesfromtheunderground.com. Yes. And uh, this is gonna be out next week, so go there and subscribe. Yeah, do that to and my we... YouTube channel, and then it'll be out September 14th. Yes, and we're gonna give you an additional. Reminder, both leading up and the day it's released for Ron on. That's how much we love the we love this guy and his comedy. Yeah. So and oh, I can yeah. follow me on uh, my Instagram, Ron on Comedy, R A N A N Comedy. But yeah, uh, and Joe and Ron on talk movies. Yeah, we're on a brief hiatus. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're having about some a five year. Oh, that's yeah. right. <laughs> Joe's doing great. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, I think I might want to uh, promote the actual move I made instead of yeah. talking it shit about bring other others down. Yeah. We'll Which be back opens him up. No, but we'll be back in September, and if you want to uh, look through it and find yeah. out a lot of cancelable things I've said and yeah. cut them out.
out and share them to destroy my career. Yeah. yeah. They're really going to cancel you after this. <laughs> yeah. Watch out. YouTube might deplatform you. Uh, but yeah, so it's, uh, but yeah, it's, um, that, that's my, that's my fucking plugs, man. Excellent. Hell yeah. yeah. Very cool. Uh, YouTube.com slash Brendan Sagalo. I got some stuff on there. Also, to see me on the road, go to BrendanSagalo.com. I'm running an hour at New York Comedy Club on the 29th. Uh, it's going to be just ideas and stuff. It's going to be really fun. I like. I, I got a little taste of it in Toronto, which was awesome. Yeah. Um, and it was just all four shows were fucking killer. Thanks to everybody that came out to that. Um, if you're in New York and you just want to see me do an hour of uh, like what what it would be like. <laughs> uh, what do you mean what it would well, be like? It is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. You are doing comedy Those for are an the hour. Reviews. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yo, if Brendan you want to come see Brendan you do see comedy what it is. for an hour, <laughs> you can know what it would be like if you saw Brendan do comedy for an, hour. for an hour. That's a disturbing analogy, but you know the Iceman, the Hitman? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I read his memoir at one point he goes. <laughs> you read his memoir? Yeah. Or not his memoir, I'm sorry. It was a uh, biography. But at one point he goes, he, sorry, it was he, a note. he ordered a crossbow in the mail, and he yeah. wanted to test it out before he used it as a hitman. So he drove on a street, motioned like a homeless guy to his car, and shot him through the neck. And he was like, it worked. And I'm like, I don't know if that's the test. I, think that's the <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got to get a game time situation. <laughs> he it. He like, yeah. I'm going to test this out test it on someone. a person. <laughs> <laughs> also, like, Who doesn't most, remind me of my mom? It's also like the most obvious murder weapon to leave yeah. down there to be like a giant, like, how did they kill the man? Well, you probably pull it right could've out. Been pro- yeah. It could have been no, natural. No, pull it out. It's got the it's got DNA it, all it over it. Rips the whole I think you're forgetting inside. that if you Ooh. just randomly kill a homeless person on the street, it probably won't get back to you. That's true. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then Sounds finally. like we got an afternoon. Yeah, not to, not to <laughs> give anyone any ideas, but you... Honestly, anyone could kill one random person and probably be fine. The that, problem is, if you want to kill one random person, you're probably going to have that urge again. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah. But more importantly is that you're not going to want to... You, it's hard to kill a random person. Like, you need to... If you ever get the urge to kill someone, it's probably someone you've met before or have some sort of angst with. It would ha- It would be somebody I know and, very well. And if you do kill a random... <laughs> yeah, and if you do kill a random person, you're going to want to kill more random people. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, you can't win. No. <laughs> no, yeah, no. You can either kill someone you know... Unless you play, a hard it's a hard life. It's a hard life. Just fantasy murder VR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Call it it's like starting a band. But anyway, I, I feel like we interrupted your plug. No, yeah. just Twitch.tv slash Sex to Riches, and that's it. No, I'm yeah. And speaking of uh, you got that Twitch, out. Speaking <laughs> of Twitch, I had to get that out. The uh, <laughs> speaking of Twitch, uh, Twitch. I had some Twitch people uh, come in the last two days and say they love the podcast and they can't believe how long the plug section is. So I'm going to w- take those notes in stride and just say. My plug is going to be to see all three of us in Austin, Texas, yes. September 9th and 10th. Get tickets right now. We're going to be at the Vulcan. We're doing, is it four shows? Yeah, four shows. Four shows where you can see uh, stand-up and podcasting from the three of us. Please come out. Please buy tickets. Tell some friends yeah. right now. And then uh, for all my other dates that are coming up, you can see me, MikeFeeneyComedy.com. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, my plugs are going to be longer. I have a, my second special is uh, of the Woo! year is up on YouTube at this point, youtube.com slash Mike Cannon Comedy. It's a crowd work special on edibles. Mike Cannon's huge mistake. Uh, check that out. Keep passing it around. I assume if you listen to the show, you've probably uh, either already seen it or added it to the queue. So tell a friend, pass it around. I appreciate you for doing it ahead of time. Then I'm going to be on the road a shitload. I'm in Batavia, Illinois, Dallas, Texas, Austin with the boys, Fort Worth, Philadelphia, Levittown, Washington, D.C., Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, uh, Greensboro, San Diego, L.A. This is all in the next like two months. So come out to these shows and uh, that's leading up to Skankfest. MikeCannonComedy.com for tickets. Uh, don't make me look like a jerk out hey, there. Mike's doing a lot better than you two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shut up, Brendan. <laughs> what did I say? Yeah. <laughs> See how much longer his uh, dates were? No, I'm just less uh, thoughtful. <laughs> no, I was like, I gotta get much less thoughtful. Dates. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Next second question wow. of the episode. This is how the show should yeah. be done. 42 minutes in. One show must go. Ooh. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. I love these. The Simpsons or Seinfeld. Oh, oh that's hard. Wow, that's uh, terrible. People are going to kill me for now. People I'm going to have to say, uh, here's the thing. We, I, I, let's, let's add a little more parameters to this where you go. Is this A, have we seen all the episodes? That we've already seen. So you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. At this point. You know what? It's so brutal. 
and it really hurts because it was such a big part of my childhood. But I think Simpsons because wow. Simpsons really after two thousand and like one I haven't watched. So there's like uh, twenty one years of of new Simpsons episodes I couldn't care less about. I care about every Always Sunny episode. I like still. that though. Uh, what? I like that there's like a ton of Simpsons episodes that I awesome. Have That'll probably be what your answer comes. You'll probably talk about that. <laughs> so I think oh, I'm, uh, just ha- I'm just you want us to just watch yeah, you how have are you an answer. Interrupting each other. You're both wearing headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I waited for him to be done with this. I sentence. wasn't even close to done. I was actually in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? Yeah, he wants you yeah. to defend him. <laughs> Defending. No, no. <laughs> defend my honor. No, I won't. He was definitely still answering. You hopped in because you saw him take a half shallow a breath. breath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. You want to be able to talk without someone talking over? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the uh, yeah, as much as it would be brutal, I still <laughs> I still will watch Sunny. Anytime a Sunny episode comes on, yeah. I'm watching it no matter what. Anytime a Seinfeld episode comes on, I'm paying attention to it. If a Simpsons episode comes on, I have to be like, is this before HD? Is this also after the first season where it's garbage? Is there like a is there like this? 10 year window where it's absolutely just flames because if not, then I'm not interested. And now it's been not as good longer than it has was great. So mm-hmm. that's kind of overtaken mm-hmm. it for me. Did the hit or miss factor. I'm I, going to get rid of Simpson. I, I got I hate to say, it, but I fucking uh, agree with him. It is a good uh, answer. I don't know. Why I hate to agree with you. Yeah, I don't know why either. I took that well, personally. I, uh, and I'll always think about I it. hate that. I agree <laughs> with you, but I kind of agree. Uh, I agree with the blood. The only one who agrees with me is the blood sucking lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> um, Condles. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I uh, like and I'm probably, I'll probably go through another Simpsons dive years later and like regret this. But for me, <laughs> I regret this because this is all happening. By the way, <laughs> they're taking away the Simpsons. Like, can we leave? For me, Simpsons was so groundbreaking. It was. But the problem with something groundbreaking is that when you go back to it, you're like, it's not you that many hit jokes. The <laughs> like sometimes I watch, I'm like, this is like a cartoon drama. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, there are brilliant things in it, but like, I think like. I don't. I think it needs a lot of nostalgia for it to like hold up some of the times. True. And I, I, I'm probably. I probably just need to watch more of it. Yeah. But like for me, like, well, Seinfeld is like the best. Seinfeld ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Seinfeld ain't going nowhere. <laughs> that's, I'm, that's, I'm, cr- I'm trashing Seinfeld. And uh, well, you're an anti-Semite, of yep. course. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and it's always funny. I mean, those. It's just in terms of what makes me laugh the yeah. most. It's yeah. It's always that's funny. Right up my alley. Yeah. It's Everything definitely about it. hard, but I I do like that. There are so many episodes of The Simpsons, and when I'm old and whatever, I can like sit and watch every episode. You know, and it'll I mean? still happen. This, so this is my thinking about why getting rid of Seinfeld is. I love Seinfeld, the show, uh, but the first season stinks. I think once Larry leaves, it stinks too. So that kind of limits it to what six seasons or something like that, or seven. Uh-huh. So my thinking is three through eight of the Simpsons is I don't even need the rest of the show. Yeah. I can just watch that. And that to me is better than Seinfeld. And I keep always sunny. Cause it's my, probably love, my favorite show. I love the, the dig on Jerry though. You're like, I love Seinfeld. The show. Oh, he, oh, yeah. You should listen to the <laughs> yeah, show. He's an the outward. Show. He's, he's the, the, the show. Gary Goldman of trashing Jerry. I just, oh, oh, really? I just openly don't care for his comedy. Did he, was, he, not, was he snide to you? At no, point? no, okay. I've never met him. Never seen it. I just don't, I don't like that kind of disconnected pompous entitlement. Mm-hmm, I agree. Um, but, uh, Boy, would unless- you hate a mirror? <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it, here's the thing. That was, like a road, well- that was like a road from the sixties. Like yeah. kind of mean, but also harmless road. He doesn't like you know what? Well, you would hate a mirror. <laughs> yeah. But that I'm also <laughs> wait, 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 open. Wait, 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 all right. We got a great show tonight. That's you like do rap- really dick, talk over people pass. with headfo- <laughs> headphones on. He hates smug Make people. Boy, smug you know what he'd hate? <laughs> a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> but that is true because I do find that a lot of the stuff that I don't, that I actually actively like have a disdain for are probably my worst qualities. Yeah. So then the entitlement and pompousness and whatever, that's probably something I hate about but myself. But it, it is funny. Like roast now are like, uh, you're uh, the dad who molested you should have killed you and finished a job. Yeah. And back then it was like, you should run into a wall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you should sit on a tack. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fun to know the, uh, yeah. Well, but, uh, unless it came down to Sammy D- Davis jr. Yeah. And they're like, pick our cotton. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh, all right. That jump levels. Yeah. <laughs> but even, even that beer thing back then, I mean, beer would be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not being personal <laughs> here. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Man has a family. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a good... Um, I, I'll, that's just my reasoning. And, it, and I do like the show sign. You're all going to really hate me, but I love the last couple of seasons. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I love the last, the last couple of seasons. seasons. I love yeah. what the show is. I, I think, yeah. I think, I also <laughs> think that that was a, like, it makes me feel like I'm in a crazy world when people universally pan the series finale. I think from a comedic writing standpoint, it is the perfect, perfect maybe the perfect, yeah. it's the best uh, sitcom ending of all Joe, time. Yeah, Joe gets, Joe like gets mad at me because I like love, like I love seven to nine the most. Uh -huh. And Joe <laughs> Like thinks it's awful once Larry leaves, and I like only quote from those episodes. What are episodes that uh, Larry didn't do that are famous episodes? I mean, so many the fucking dance. Uh, the oh dance. yeah, is the big salad one? No, after? no, no, uh, that's that was, before there. But yeah. like, um, I mean, one of what I think is one of the funniest, the Bizarro Jerry, Bizarro oh, Jerry, yeah. which is, which is yeah. four amazing subplots to me. It's. Kramer working that job where it doesn't really work there, where they just yeah, I don't even really work here. And then Bizarro, <laughs> That's what makes it so hard. Bizarro, <laughs> Bizarro Jerry, which I love. Yeah. And Man Hands. Yeah. And then uh, also yeah, yeah. George going into the forbidden. Man game. Hands happened to me in real life. I broke up with a girl freshman year of high school because her hands were too rough. Really? Was yeah. She, was she cute though? Otherwise? She was gorgeous. Gorgeous. It really? was like totally my own psychosis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nicole, yeah. can you pull up some of the fam more famous episodes from seasons? What is it? Seven, eight, nine? No, no. Seven, seven was seven. Larry. Uh, uh, eight, 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 and it's eight and nine. But I mean, you got. You got the bootleg video one, which is, I think, amazing. Oh, uh, oh yeah. that's the Lane Dance one, too, I think. Yeah. Um, Dance one's the big one. I mean, yeah. I mean, I I don't know. I like when it gets self-reflected. Oh, you have Kramer and Jerry switching apartments. What I else? love that yeah. one. Yeah, oh, that was a great one. The, that was great. I'm, goes, yeah. the, I'm stressed. <laughs> oh, I'm stressed. I mean, when Kramer <laughs> goes, Kramer's like, like well, come on, let's switch apartments. And Jerry's like, or you could have, I could sleep in the park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could rip through the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> I, here's the thing, too, that you're, that, like, I think people, Kind of, I think, uh, what's his name? Yada, oh no. yada, yada, yada. No, uh, wait, wait. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Uh, After this. Oh, that's the one, yeah, where he gets smarter and he's hitting home runs. He goes, he yeah. goes, he goes uh, oh, we won the pennant last year. He goes, yeah, in six games or whatever. <laughs> uh, I got, we got to set it to Joe. He'll be so bad. And, uh, yeah. After it's amazing. Simple Ooh, joke for a simple little man. Kick. Colonel, <laughs> simple joke from a simple man is a What's, line I've said a thousand times. Chicken roaster, that's a switch. That's the, yeah. The, um, but here's what I was going to say about wow. this, though, is that there are, uh, Larry David gets a lot of credit you know, post leaving for being like, see the drop off in the show where if you read, like I read the whole biography about the show and stuff. And if you look into that, it's because what they would do is they would take writers and be like, what's a weird thing that happened in your life and mine all of their personal stories right. and write episodes around them. Yeah. And then they ran out of ideas and they would get new writers and be like, whatever happened to you? And then once they would run out of ideas. And so by the time they did that, eight times by the time they had their ninth writer's room of yeah. brand new people it the, you know the pool started to dilate a little bit more you but know it also yeah. like i first of all it's not like the early seasons are all not crazy i mean there's it's not like a yeah I it's mean, Joe not a like perfectly original, grounded show yeah. <laughs> if and, you didn't know larry left you wouldn't you wouldn't be yeah, like that's it would what be i nothing. also think i, I, I think people i disagree didn't know that. i think there's a, there's elements of it that do seem out of it character gets post the show. and it yeah. gets very self-reflective i will say like i think i just growing up like later on when i got more into side as a kid i loved them all but as i watch it later on i started watching the later episodes i have this weird thing where I feel like with shows a lot of time the characters in comedies are like developing into different people and they kind of like crystallize. So yeah. I feel like Kramer's very different in the beginning. Yeah. And and then he's I very like, quiet. He's very quiet and he's dumb where he's not really dumb later on. Like he, to me he's like He's like more, a doofus. Yeah, to me he's more of a clown later on. Yeah, he's yeah. kind of like awesome well, and has superpowers. There's no yeah. more evident character than David Schwimmer on Friends. Like, yeah. Ross becomes a fucking boardwalk drawing of himself. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. But so I like... And, even but, in like The Office, like Angela is becomes like bubbly at the end. All yeah. their, Dwight is like becomes like a reasonable human and their yeah. best friend but with I, Jim. But I think like earlier episodes of Seinfeld, while more believable, can sometimes be very sticky. Yeah. In a way where the later episodes are just more crazy than sticky. Mm. But like, I also think the pacing of the later episodes is so quick, which I like. The early episodes, when you watch now, you think they're like, oh, this is my Oh my episode. God. The, it's nap, like a play. the yeah. nap episode's incredible, where he builds a, a, a place fort. to sleep oh, under his yeah. desk. That's in, yeah. Great. Uh, dude, I don't know what people are talking about. These, this. Pothole. 
The comeback? George trying to think of a comeback? Oh, that, that's that famous George painting. The summer the, of that, George? That, People that, say the, that the now. The package is the one where it's like, they're getting pretty hot under these lights, Jerry, huh? <laughs> pretty uh, hot. Yeah, I, I know, actually, Lewis says I'm that. I'm quite comfortable. <laughs> it's the summer. No, I love, I mean, I love the, I mean, the <laughs> or, something's great too, but I love the, I love the later Top one. Top of yeah. the muffin to you. I mean, I do, there's really no I bad. I do think more there's more episodes of The Simpsons too, because I think they did Yeah, they did 24. 24, I think. But so this is my argument is I, I, there's definitely episodes on here that I really really like for sure it's not garbage across the board but in terms of saturation of what i really like comedically it's the simpsons three through eight maybe nine but i think it's three through eight very focused like that is like yeah my wheelhouse of what i like mm -hmm. i also feel like i just want to say i think i'm wrong about my opinion <laughs> i think like the simpsons is i know simpsons absolutely show than hold, all of those the simpsons yeah. absolutely yeah. holds up and, by the yeah, way and yeah. had human depth and like all this stuff and i think it is a better show i just personally in my life just like l laugh more at these other two. Yeah, shows. yeah. I, I think Simpsons is probably like. It's fair. I watched a lot of The Simpsons with my infant son, so like I just got reacquainted with all of it. I was like, damn, it's fucking it's, strong. I need to get a it's, reacquainted. It's really good. I need to get reacquainted. Yeah. yeah. All right. Third question, potentially last. <laughs> <laughs> Usually we go through like fifteen an episode. Yeah, this is great though. I've oh, enjoyed. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have a lot banked. I'm Finally, the show's starting to get its groove. <laughs> That's right. We're only 83 episodes in. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Ethan Skull Fox. It's the end of the world. Uh, world. Robots or gays or something are taking over, and you have just two <laughs> options. Do you stay in your home barricaded left to survive with what you have, or do you get a small band of comics together to venture out and try to fight your way into a heavily guarded hunting supply store? I've always said this because I don't, I, that's my biggest problem with fucking the, the walking dead is that it's like every season is just the same movie where they're like, we find a home, we can live here, but now there's a threat, but okay, but we'll live here for a while. But now uh, more outside threats. All right, we got to move somewhere else. I would do the, uh, that just seems like so much work to keep relocating and then clearing out whoever lives there and murdering everyone and then starting a new and then protecting it 24 seven. I think I'm just going to barricade in my house. Use, at least I know all the food and stuff I got there until it runs out is stuff that I like. And then when they come in and overtake us, then that'll just be it, I think. You, you, that's a good, you know what's the sad thing is? Is like, you'd think right away, like, well, comics. But honestly, comics are, some of them are just crazy survivalists. Yeah. So that's actually yeah. a good yeah. place. Yeah. But, but you have Bobby selfish. Kelly. Yeah, they are so the, there is yes. a chance, not even a chance. There is a certainty you will be thrown into the mouth of a zombie. That's uh, fine. Right. Right. A hundred percent. Bobby Kelly once was like talking about like which comics he'd have if the world went on like survivalist. Yeah, and it was clearly just his way of talking shit about comics and yeah. things yeah. he liked. But within that, he was like, I'd have that guy because he can really trust him. I wouldn't have that comic. You know, I just think he's kind of fake. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's just talking shit within the realm. <laughs> That's uh, so funny. Sorry, Nicole. I didn't realize I was smacking the microphone directly. Um, did she say something? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah she's been talking from, this entire yeah. time. She's talking shit about me? Yeah. 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 All time. <laughs> Under yeah. her breath, quietly. But she's asking. Going, she's things. affirming us. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is this guy talking about? He puts out the headphones and it's just a self tape going. You are good. <laughs> yeah. Good one. Very you are likes. funny. Brendan. Oh, no. dude, that's a, that's this thing in Severance, which if you, when you guys see it, it's fucking great. But great uh, show. It, you saw it? Yeah, I love it. Isn't it awesome? Oh, yeah. Oh, best, my God. Best but, show in a, in a while. In a long, long time. Yeah. Uh, but it's a, it, they have this part where they do like kind of wellness checks where they tell you about your outside personality because you don't know it because you can't remember it. So they'll literally be like, your Audi is kind. Your Audi is makes children laugh and they just like read a whole list of like positive affirmations. smells like cheese <laughs> you haven't seen it. it's a great show no good. yeah um, good. really like <laughs> <laughs> mike says on season nine of alone <laughs> that he's watching I'm for watching, the fourth time that's, i'm watching that's, that for myself yeah that's my yeah, for research. Research. when shit for hits research. the fan honestly severance <laughs> is so good you should give him up for adoption <laughs> yeah 14 emmys nomination 14 emmys huh? nominations. that means yeah. nothing to me <laughs> yeah how many emmys does alone need hey have None. you with your kid how old your kid three have you, uh, maybe it's too young. Have you, there's a thing I watched is my nephew called, um, Showgirls. Well, you know, the, uh, Planet Earth stuff that they do. 
They do one on mm. dinosaurs. Have you seen this? No, I don't think you so. Heard about this? It's, have, you heard, have you heard about this? Have you heard about this? In the have you seen and, this? Uh, let me try to do J Jay Leto. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't That's do what it. that was. I can't do it well, which is crazy because he has a lisp. Like, yeah. Yeah, I still can't do it. Um, <laughs> You're gravelier. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You have a big head and a lisp, and I still fail. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> You don't have enough chin power. <laughs> <laughs> but so it's it's like Planet, you know, the David Attenborough yeah. shit where it's like, you know. It's, it's new, not, right? Uh, it's new. It's like David that, but no. it's it's dinosaurs, so it's CGI. Whoa. So, but it's like the trying to be like. Rex. It's trying to be real. And, and I'm watching with my nephew, and there's a part where like, there's these three cute baby T-Rexes in the water, and a Megalodon thing is chasing them. And David Attenborough's like, the Megalodon is chasing the baby T-Rexes through the water. And my nephew's getting scared, and I'm like, it'll be fine. And then the Megalodon eats all the baby T-Rexes. And I'm like, <laughs> but they chose for that to happen. That's like, they could have, they yeah. could have. They, well, they wanted to be true to history. <laughs> they were true to history. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, we got to get them killed. <laughs> they like hit them. And I was like, oh, show wow. these kids what life one <laughs> second means and death the next. <laughs> show them what life may yeah. have been like. It could have gone any different way. We have That's no right. idea. <laughs> kids but, need to realize how, how like philanthropic we are yeah. by keeping them alive. That's right. That's right. We can't choose to have that. But anyway, so uh, you should show your kid that. I will. Yeah. I will. And I'll tell him it's real life. He's going to think dinosaurs are real. Yeah. Uh, there's are no real. way I would even trust a single comedian to go through the no. end of the world. Yeah, I'd, and, I also and, don't want to live for like 11. Uh, seriously, I am going to Kobe jump shot my son into the hands of a zombie. And I'm going to follow with a swan dive <laughs> Dude, into one I, too. Just, uh, I yeah. do not want to live. The minute an apocalypse happens, I'm taking I, off all my clothes. What's the point, I dude? Always <laughs> Restart society, <laughs> suck my dick. <laughs> what do I want to go back? to Mesopotamia. I've gotten used to 2022. Eat my shit. I also think that I, that's another one of those from the first season of Walking Dead where they're like, there's that CDC where there's like an instant explosion that'll kill you immediately. Yeah. And they like a bunch of people opt for it. And oh, then the rest cool. of the people are like, why would you do that and give up on life? You don't even know if this is going to last forever. And the people are like, no, I would, I would absolutely, I would jump at that. I would yeah, kill yeah, someone yeah. to get into that room to Good. be killed. Get me as close to that bomb as possible. That's why any guy that I suspected of being a terrorist on the train, I sat right next to him. Cause I want to be in the immediate blast and not like get an <laughs> artery cut. I just like how you do the Kobe jump shot to kill the kid. When there's no other scenario with Kobe involving. It. <laughs> I got to use this metaphor. There's no other possible That's right. example. That's right. <laughs> I love KB24. <laughs> All right. That's Great. the show, everybody. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did on the Kobe thing. Yeah, yeah. I did on the Kobe thing. <laughs> We're, We're putting gonna, it out. Check out Ron on special when it comes out September 14th, right? Yeah, yeah, jokes yeah. at the Underground on his YouTube. Go to uh, jokes at the Underground.com. Jokes from the Underground.com. Please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel yes. so I can get the viewers up and then you'll get an alert when it comes out. So just go joke from the underground.com yes. and subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. And if you don't, you're anti-Semitic yeah, and, right. uh, and homophobic. Cause I'm probably He's you know, a little gay. bit queenie. Yeah, I'm a little bit gay. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and I love Kobe. I was just making a joke. He's great. Great player. <laughs> great rapist, whatever. Yeah, he's, great, he's all those joking. things. <laughs> he has all those things. He's great. Don't cancel me. If, um, you're, if you're from LA, that was run on. <laughs> yeah. That's the Jew that know, said it. <laughs> I know it's hard to, I know it's hard to tell the list between Ronan and Mike's, but uh, <laughs> does Mike have a list? Or are you joking? No, the I internet know. tells him that, and he <laughs> really, he, yeah, I guess I do. I have an enunciated S, I, I address it on the crowd work special. What did <laughs> you say? I have an enunciated I have an enunci S. Yeah. I don't know. Do you yeah. notice yeah. my lisp? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time I post a stand up video on YouTube, there's the same guy just writes the line that I said with th in it. <laughs> That's so shitty. I got back at him. You know what I did? I sent him a picture of me crying. <laughs> nice, Why are you so mean? Yeah, yeah. damn right. Well, did he just write out. so mean? <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, Stop it. Right, thank you for having me. Here's the scenario is Mike Feeney, Mike Cannon, and Brendan Sagalow. Executive producers Robert Kelly and Matt Kleinschmidt for the Laugh Button Podcast. For more information about the show, visit here's the scenario.com. Scenario.